Merry Christmas, everyone! So, as my cat rubs her face all over these presents behind me, I'm going to be doing a Christmas tag. Or, somewhat of a Christmas tag. I'm kind of just taking questions from a bunch of different ones and then combining them all into one convenient one full of questions that I actually want to answer. Okay, so the first question is, is Christmas your favorite holiday? I would say I like Halloween slightly better, but I really like the fact that we celebrate one holiday for an entire month, so yeah, I guess I would say Christmas is my favorite. Do you dress up for Christmas or stay in your PJs? Judging by this onesie that I'm wearing, I think it's pretty obvious that I dress up for Christmas. I mean, I get super fancy. Fun fact, when I put on this onesie, my cat started purring up a storm. She was all like, damn, mom, you looking cozy. She's super ghetto. What's on your Christmas list? This. Big fat nothing. Nothing's on my Christmas list. My mom gets her holiday shopping done in like July, so there's really no point in putting a list together. She has this way of knowing what I want when I don't even know what I want. So I found it easier to just not write anything down because by the time I do think of something, she's either already gotten it or told my dad to get it. She just blows my mind with her ability to get Christmas gifts. It's, it's insane. What is your favorite Christmas movie? My girly answer would be Love Actually. My family friendly answer would be Elf. My emo kid answer would be Nightmare Before Christmas, of course. And my silly little child answer would be the Spongebob Christmas episodes. I don't know what it is about them, I'm just obsessed and I think they're hilarious. I'm 21 years old and I will still crack up during the Spongebob Christmas episodes. Judge me, I don't care. Do you believe in Santa? I think I was about nine when I stopped believing in Santa. It was Christmas Eve and I was starting to question his existence. And I finally just asked my parents right before I was going to bed. Here's little nine-year-old Ashley getting ready to go to bed to wake up on Christmas morning and open the presents from Santa. And instead I'm asking my parents if Santa really exists or not. My parents agreed that whenever I asked about it, they would just tell me the truth. So my dad gave me like a 30-minute lecture on how I could believe in Santa if I wanted to but I didn't have to. I don't know, it was really confusing, but they were kind of upset. They're like, what are we gonna do now? It's Christmas Eve and the kid doesn't believe in Santa anymore. My mom still writes from Santa on pretty much every gift she ever gets me. Someone's in denial. If you could only buy one person a present this year, who would it be? This one. Cause she is not spoiled at all. And she needs like a lot more cat towers and toys and a bunch of other stuff that she has none of right now. Right? I'm kidding, she's the most spoiled cat in the world. If you looked at my house, you would think that I had like 15 cats. But that's not the case, it's just this one. <gasps> oh my god! Holy moly! Someone doesn't like the camera. I can't believe you just did that! Actually, I can totally believe it. She's a freaking bipolar cat. Sometimes she's like the sweetest thing. She will cuddle all up on you and be so incredibly sweet. And then that happens. So she's either like an angel or a demon sent from hell to kill everyone. But the answer to my question will still remain the same. Because I'm a cat lady and I can't help myself. What is your favorite Christmas ornament? Uh, this one. I don't know if you can see that or not. But it's a masterpiece that I did when I was four. Do you see how beautiful this is? This could go for tens of dollars, but I signed it Ash Ash. I mean, the back is even better. <laughs> Just look at this. Do you see this? And my mom still puts it on her Christmas tree. I <laughs> okay, last question. Do you have any Christmas traditions? Um, I don't have any, like, cool ones. <laughs> on Christmas Eve, Pretty much the entire family gets together at my grandma's house. Yes, my crazy grandma from last week's video. We go to her house and just eat dinner and have a jolly good time. And then as far as Christmas Day goes, I sleep in, usually till like 11. Far cry from when I was like 6 and wanted to get up at 6 a.m. to open presents. And then we go to the movie theater and watch a movie. Usually it's one that comes out on Christmas Day, but this year it's like 
there's nothing good that opened on Christmas Day, so I don't really know what we're going to go see. But that's our tradition, being lazy and watching movies. Um, so yeah, that was pretty much all the questions I had. I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas or Hanukkah or whatever you celebrate. I hope it was full of merriment and joy and laughter and joy. And presents. Presents are always great. Speaking of presents, I did have a couple people ask me to do a video on what I got for Christmas. And I'm more than happy to do that. I just wanted to make sure that most people wanted to see it, because otherwise it'd just be a video of me bragging about the awesome stuff I got. So let me know in the comments if that's something you'd want to see. And if it is, like I said, I'd be more than happy to do it. I'll probably do it within the next few days or so. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Apparently Ashley, and apparently Jingle Bells was the first song broadcast from space in 1965. I think I'm bleeding. Oh my gosh. I can't believe it. You think you know someone and then they just turn on you. You always think that it, it's not it's not gonna happen to you. You just always think that. And then all of a sudden, out of the blue, it happens.